with one voice believed that integrity in dealing and not just in terms of moral courage but also in terms of ideas if you believe in something your integrity should be one to stand by that idea so the courage and integrity were very important i mean otherwise the fact that hard work was a given that came from the passion it also came i think from many of us of a generation who women who sadly believed we did need to be twice better than the guys in our roles so we always worked harder in order to prove ourselves always feeling like a bit of a goldfish in a bowl i feel it's that syndrome still remains women today are watched more closely when we fall we are noticed more uh, but this is i think changing it hasn't changed enough but it is something we have to live with so other than this ambition now ambition was seen as a bad thing in women it is probably one which gets noticed mm. but for every one of these women quiet ambition was important they had the ambition to succeed they worked at it they were very focused in terms of understanding that they wanted to get to the next level you don't dream of being ceo the day you join a firm but at every stage you're at you look a little over the parapet and say well i could do that too and so it's multiple steps but it is one that keeps driving you ahead in an organization uh the biggest lesson was how to deal with failure because fail we will so how do you pick yourself up when you fall and i like to quote from nature here i'm i'm deeply engaged and involved in things to do with wildlife and the environment and i'm happy to say that there is a syndrome called the law of wasted effort so you think about it uh a lions will actually fail 60% of the time when they hunt that doesn't stop them from hunting if you think of rain most of it will flow down into the sea we only catch so little of it you think of fish and the eggs that they lay maybe 10% will grow into fish nature lives with the law of wasted effort but it doesn't stop doing that same thing why do we as thinking human beings get dis so disheartened when we fail let's learn from those lessons let's push it aside let's move ahead and this dealing with failure was a very important theme across many of the women ceos and i would just add to that my own experience of all the naysayers when i wanted to go to business school all the uncles in the family very traditional north indian family prevailing on my mother to say going off to the us how can you let her go you should be getting her married etc the naysayers were the ones that actually put my back up made me fight so i was out to prove how wrong they were and at every level if you convert that negative energy around you into your positive to help you fight that very conjecture that you are not ready for it that very thought that you should not do it you find your own strength and it enables you to keep changing the same women they talk about what you've heard earlier today in terms of the backup systems the family the parents there were there was one of the women uh, aruna jayanti who was the head of uh, uh, one of the tech firms at the time talked about how she used her professor at stanford when she was studying there to babysit her kid arundhati bhattacharya which was chair of state bank of india asked and often had help from neighbors who looked after the kids and then of course it's the traditional support systems of mothers and mothers in law many of the women relied on the mother in law 